Okay, today we're going to talk about using the Juzo Velcro wrap and how to adjust it properly. So we're going to start with the compression sock. I'm just going to reach inside here, grab the heel of the sock like a sock puppet, fold it inside out. And you're going to have your patient bring their leg up and point their toes down. Just simply take this and stretch it wide and slide it right over the foot. Take the rest of the sock and just back it right up the leg. You're just pulling all the slack up and get it way above the knee if you can. Okay, give the toe a little bit of a pull. Then we're going to use the Velcro wrap. Now, this is reversible, so it can be black or beige. We're going to use beige today. I'm going to slide this right up the leg. And you can see here it's got this little silky liner that's going to help hold it in place. I'm going to bring it all the way up as high as I can, and then I'm going to bend the knee. And I want to make sure that it's not bending into the crease of the knee. It needs to lay nice and flat. And then we'll take each strap and just gently pull it across. You don't have to worry about how tight it is or if it's perfect here. But what we are going to do is we're going to keep going back and re-snugging these up. So you can pull them one at a time, you can pull them two at a time. But the top and the bottom have a little tab here you can pull from, which gives you a little bit more purchase. Now, once you get them all where you want them, you can then use the Juzo pressure monitor and check your pressures. And so you want higher pressure here lower pressure, lower pressure, and the least here. And what that does, it gives you a gradient pressure. So I always like to do the lateral side. So I like it to be somewhere around 45, 50 on this lowest one. And I'm gonna slowly back down the pressures to about 30s on the very top one. A little bit more. It's a little tight, no problem. I can back it down. And then I finish here with this last one. I'm at 28, which is just fine. Now, let's say I've got somebody who has a little bit longer leg. You can purchase a Velcro extension tab. And so this comes as a really long tab and you just cut it to size. So if I need an extra layer, it's the same as width as all these. You just simply pull it around, snug it up, and you can check pressures as well. But her leg obviously doesn't need this, but it does give you an extra extension without making it custom. Now, one of the other things that you do with this is you take the top of the sock and you're going to pull it way up and you flip it down over the top. Now the important part about this is that you want to make sure that it's going to have good compression all the way down to the ankle. Because then we're going to use a shoe and lace-up shoes are absolutely the best here. Because the lace-up shoe is then going to be a custom fit compression on the foot by lacing it up. And so just like as the day goes on, if your leg gets smaller and you snug these straps up, you can come back and snug the shoelaces up. But you can see it transitions very nicely right into the ankle here. And again, if you have a longer person, you just put that extra strap on there. Now, how do you make sure that this patient can actually do this and pull the same on tension you do? Well, it's simple. What you do is you go back and you mark it. And so I would just take any color chalk. In the clinic, I often use play chalk, but I mark it. Now what this does is that we'll know it's tight enough when they all line up. So as your patient is learning how to pull this, they're gonna be able to come back, snug it up, know that that line lines up, this is exactly as tight as you got it, and you'll come back and you'll teach them a time or two, and they should be really pretty good at this. But what will happen is you remind them this is the minimum amount of pull when this lines up, because as they're shrinking in size and decongesting, these marks are actually gonna get further and further from each other. But this is your bare minimum pull. You pull the shoe right back over the top. Make sure that they know to snug that up as well. You don't want any, they don't have to be really tight, but you don't want any loose laces in here. Snug them up. Pull the top of the sock over so that the Velcro isn't riding on the skin, and you're good to go.